Uh, hello everyone, welcome to another Warframe video. Uh, Barocatir has arrived in the Orcus Relay on Pluto, I think, yeah, on Pluto. The wait is over, Tenno. Barocatir has arrived. Oh, yes, yes. So, uh, I've seen some stuff you brought and you brought some pretty, pretty good I things. Much to show you. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so, we have the 3-day mod drop chance booster, which has been uh, a lot of complaints about, that they would make it... Uh, that they changed the Necros and Hydroid combo. They did change it back though, so they the nerf is gone. But you can still buy it on a Barocketeer. Don't think it's very useful because it's only a chance you get a... Well, just like it says, a mod drop chance booster. So it doesn't double the mods you get, but just uh, higher the chance of getting those mods. And here's the In My Belly Glyph. Which is just a festive glyph for uh, Halloween. Then the Wise or Day of the Dead Kavat armor skin. Oh, uh, armor, it's not a skin. She looks pretty nice, but I don't have enough ducats for that. I only have 10 now. Don't have a lot of credits here. That's it. Then the Day of the Dead skins for the uh, Dark Sword and the Dread. Which the Dread skin looks pretty nice. I like it. Might buy that one. Have to save for some ducats though, and there's not much time left. I think about 20 hours, so we have to go fast. Then the Prime Torch shell for shotguns, very good mod of course, and the Prime Target Cracker for pistols, which is a uh, critical damage. Then the Termite Termite Round for rifle, then Scattering Inferno for shotgun, Scorch for pistols, and Volcanic Edge for melee. So they're both 60 60 mods, 60% uh, heat, 60% status chance. For both rifle, pistol, uh, shotgun and melee. So very useful if you still need them. I still need the pistol one. So I might get that one. Probably not this round because I still need this one too. And I'm not sure if I'm going for a tar target cracker. I don't have that much crit built on pistols. So I might skip on that one for now. Then the Prisma Veritux which is the Arcwing melee weapon. Uh, but no one really uses Arcwing, so it doesn't matter. And then you get the Prisma Angstrom. It's a very good weapon. I have the normal Angstrom and it's very strong, so... Yeah, it's a good one to pick up. 475 Ducats. Then the... Kokis Sugatra, <laughs> however you pronounce that. Uh, I don't know why it's red. Probably because my colors for the tattoo were red. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure on that one. Just a small thing, so... If you have some ducats left, you can get it. Then the Redeemer Alexa skin. Which looks really nice. If they show it at least. Yeah, there we go. Ah, no, no. <laughs> okay, never mind. But you can see it here. Then the Katir Sentinel mask for the uh, Sentinels, of course. So have the mask, then the... Yeah, I don't have a sentinel equipped, so we chose the default Durga. And the wings and the sentinel tail. Then have the camo skin for the Texon. Not that special, but if you use a Texon a lot, it could be useful. Then the Prisma Nebris Batman wings. They look nice, but I, I think I only have them on one Warframe, maybe. That really fits them. Uh, then you have the pack leader and the glaring sigils. I just bought them uh, yesterday. They look nice. Uh, you can see them here. But uh, they're pretty good. Then the Mesa immortal skin. Oh, I can turn around. Didn't work last time. So it's a nice skin. I'm not getting it because I have the deluxe skin. But if you don't have any skin for Mesa... Uh, you can buy this skin without spending some platinum. I do like the immortal skin, uh, yeah, immortal skins, because they have a pretty good color scheme. Don't look that special with the default uh, color, but if you change them, they look a lot better. Then you have the Katir Atmos Oculus. Not that bad. Alrighty, and then the Atmos earpieces. They do look kind of cool. And they do fit the uh, skin I have a little. Hmm, might think about that one. 
Uh, then you have of course the three beacons for the crust tech tree, stalker beacon and the Zanuka hunter. You can only use them once, think about that, because they cost a lot of ducats for only a single use. But if you really need them, they could be a great addition. And of course the stands of Inaros blueprint quest. Yeah, the quest for the uh, the blueprint for the quest. I mean, if you still don't have uh, the Anaros Warframe, so uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I'm not sure if the Day of the Dead skins return. They might return, but not for the same weapons because it's a Day of the Dead month, you can say. So uh, I think this these two might return, but I'm not sure about the weapons. So think about it if you want them. And of course, all the other mods there. It's pretty good stuff you bought uh, this week, and a lot of the, a lot of it too. So that's about it. You can think about what you want to get. Uh, I still need to trade some ducats for that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it, and see you next video. Goodbye.